Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can set up this level up notifier that's going to pop up on the player's screen. So once they reach enough experience to level up, you are going to have this little message pop up on the screen saying you have reached level and then whatever level they have got to. We are going to be showing you how to get this displayed on the screen, set up a simple fade in and out animation and also how to get the level they have just gone to displayed onto the screen. It's really simple and really easy to do, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now before we do go any further, make sure you have downloaded the latest version of the RPG assets on the website, the link is down in the, down in the description and then within here you'll have this little pop up that I've crea uh, created inside of Photoshop. Once you've got that, go over to your assets. Um, so blueprints, HUD assets, and what you want to do is just make sure you import that latest version of the file. So for me, that file is all within my RPG stuff, RPG assets, HUD assets, and you'll see I have put this little pop-up in here called level pop-up. Just drag and drop this into your HUD assets if you don't have it in here already. So now that we've done this, we can go ahead and open up our blueprints and create a widget to contain this little pop-up. So right click in your content browser, add a widget blueprint and then just call this level up just like that and then go ahead and open it. Once we've opened it up we need to put an image in and also a piece of text to show what we're trying to show. So first image is going to be the static element which is the background, the icon, the text, that kind of stuff. And then also the text for the level as well, that's going to be dynamic so it has to be text rather than an image. So for the image set this to uh, to level pop up or whatever the name is, for me it's just level pop up and then once you've done this just try and set your X and your Y to the same size that it is down here in the you know bottom right so 495 by 55 and that looks about good to me and once I've done this I'm just going to center it to the middle of my screen just like that and then with my text I'm also going to place this just about where I think it should be now for the text, I'm going to change this to light as well, just so it fits in nice and nice and easily. And also change down my font size to something like 22, just to make sure that it fits. And I'm also going to set my default text to 22, or something like that, just so I can get it, you know, exactly where I want to get it. Just line it up and just make sure there's no issues, anything like that. So, I'm also going to turn off my snapping so I can freely just place this wherever I want. And I'm also going to change the color of this text as well to give it a sort of like a slight yellow so that it stands out and they know exactly which part is the dynamic element. So just place this in. I might have to make this a little bit smaller, maybe 21 and drag it in, just drop it in there. And this is a nice looking pop up to me. So now what we need to do is quickly set up the animation to make it fade in, make it fade in and out of the player's screen. And we've got to apply this to both the image and the text. Now because we're fading in and out and there's opacity involved, what I'm going to do is change the default opacity to 0 for both of these items so they cannot be on the screen, it doesn't cause any flicker and they won't show until I tell it to show as part of the animation. So now we've done this, go to the animation in the bottom left hand corner, press a little plus icon to create it and just call it fade in out, just like that. Now click it and add your two elements into it, the image and also your text. Starting off with the image, let's create a color and opacity track. So just expand this and the only one we want to work with is your opacity. Currently it's set to zero. Over about a second, we want this to fade back to one. So it's going to fade in if we take a look at this. So press play, it fades in. And then for about half a second, I'm going to create another keyframe to keep it there at one second, uh, sorry, at one opacity. And then all the way over to two and a half seconds, I am going to change the opacity back down to zero. So now, if we go back to the beginning, press play, we've got a nice little fade here and that looks good to me. All I've got to do now is just do the same thing for my text as well. 
add a color and opacity track and on the opacity at the beginning set this to zero just create the keyframe if there isn't one there already and then at one second we want this to go to one opacity one and a half seconds we also want it at one opacity so it stays there and all the way at the end it should go back down to zero and your animation should look a little bit like this so it fades in and it fades out and that's perfect and what we also need to do now then that our animation is finished is go to our graph and then on event construct we just want to tell it to play this animation so as soon as we create this widget blueprint and display it on the screen it's going to play this fade in and out animation just like that so now we've done this compile close it and let's actually get it displayed on the screen when the player levels up now if you remember all of our leveling up stuff is going to be within our simple ai it's one of the locations where we check all the logic for adding experience and then you know leveling up the player if need be so if we check the beginning of this def function that we've got if you're not in the def function already just go to your main event graph and then just on the left hand side open up def and then over here you can see we've got a condition a branch checking to see whether or not the experience is equal to or greater than max experience and if it is it's going to reset the experience increase the max experience and do all the good logic stuff we need just at the end of this what we're going to do is tell it to create a widget and then with this widget it's just created we're going to tell it to add to viewport and just link this up just like that and then add to viewport just you know fix your broken link you've just made and just hook it up in there like that for the uh, for the class for this just make sure this is set to level up hit compile hit play and now if we open up one of our characters and you know start killing some enemies you can see at the moment I'm already on level 3 because I've got my save game system all set up or working so you know it stored the levels that I gained previously and it's gonna probably take me a little while to get this popped up on the screen um, but one thing we do need to do quickly actually before we go any further now we've got the animation showing is tell it to display the players level as well so I'm gonna quickly do that so open up your level up widget find your text and just create a binding for the content text and for this all we're doing is just casting to third person game mode and then simply getting the level and just hooking this up to the return value just like this minimum integral digits is two just so it stays in line and then just get game mode for the object wildcard compile this and let's go into the game and just try and level up our character and you sort of see one of the problems with game testing is sometimes it can take a little while because you have to sit through some of this progression based stuff but we're getting there you can see my xp bar going up as i kill these enemies you guys if you want to you can make it easier to level up using the logic i showed you earlier but for now we should just about almost be there get here <laughs> the bot's just running away from us at the moment and there you are it says you have reached level but the text is off to the side now the reason why the text wasn't showing um, is because it's not anchored to the center like the rest of it is but other than that we've got the pop-up on the screen it's working it's displaying the text and it's also playing the animation anyway guys that is pretty much everything for today's video once again thanks for watching guys stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out peace this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.